Hi, my name is Josh Udy. I'm the Elementary Mathematics Curriculum Manager for Houston Independent School District. In this video, I will be showing the subtraction of a whole number and a mixed fraction using both concrete representations and a pictorial representation. To begin, let me read the problem. Miss Richardson purchased four pounds of ham and two and two-thirds pounds of turkey. How many more pounds of ham did Miss Richardson buy than turkey? I'm going to be using pattern blocks to represent this problem. When I'm selecting the pattern block that I'll use, it's very important that I select one that can represent thirds. I've chosen to use the red trapezoids to represent this problem. First, I'll place out four red trapezoids to represent the four pounds of ham that Miss Richardson purchased. I know that she purchased two and two-thirds pounds of turkey. So I'll place out two more red trapezoids to represent the two pounds, and then I will use the green triangles to represent thirds. Here, you'll want to make certain that students understand that the red trapezoid represents one whole pound, while each of the three green triangles represents one third of a pound. I actually don't need this piece because she only purchased two and two thirds pounds of turkey. This is a comparison type of problem. So I can line up my pieces. I see that she has four pounds of ham, two and two thirds pounds of turkey. So my question is really, how much more would need to go right here in order for them to be the same amount? Students can see that one more red trapezoid and one more green triangle would mean that they're four pounds and four pounds. This shows the difference, and in a comparison problem like this, we're trying to find what the difference is between the amount of ham and the amount of turkey, which here we see is one and one-third pounds. Now I'm going to represent this same problem using a pictorial representation. I know that Miss Richardson purchased four pounds of ham. So I can draw four circles. Each circle represents one whole pound. And I'll label this as ham. I know that she also purchased two and two-thirds pounds of turkey. So I can draw two circles to represent the two pounds. And then another circle partitioned into thirds to represent the two-thirds. It's important that when using circle models, students don't fret over the size of the pieces or drawing them perfectly, but instead that they understand that I've partitioned it into three equal pieces, that I'm assuming that each of those thirds are equal, and so I have one third, two thirds, three thirds. Here I want to shade. Let me label first. This represents turkey. Here I want to shade that she has two and two-thirds pounds of turkey. I know that she has four pounds of ham. The question is, how much more ham does she have than turkey? Well, I can see that she has one more pound of ham right here, but then how much more ham in this fraction of a circle does she have? I know this is the same, this is the same, if I partition this into thirds as well, and I know that each of those is shaded, so I'm gonna shade that a little better, I can see that this third and this third go together, and this third and this third go together. So I can see that she has one and one third more pounds of ham than turkey. 